Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, today we will do one more number program. And here I would like to remind you once again that for these number programs you don't have to learn the definition of the number program. But yes, you need a lot of practice so that you should know how to apply the logic, how to arrange the statements, which statements should be used, which looping should be used. Right? So today's program is Twisted Prime Number. A number is called a twisted prime number if it is a prime number and reverse of this number is also a prime number. Right children? So for twisted prime the condition is that that number should be prime and its reverse that is the reverse of the number should also be prime. Right? Twisted prime number is also known as special prime number or MREP number. Right children? And here I have written few examples of twisted prime. 2. All of you know this is the only even number that is prime number. 3. Reverse of 3 is 3. 3 is prime. So it is twisted prime also. Right. Then we come to two digit numbers. 11. Reverse of 11 is 11. 11 is prime and reverse of it is also prime. 13. Reverse of 13 is 31. Right. And 13 is prime. And 31 is also prime. So 13 is a twisted prime number. So as for the definition also, we can make out what we have to do. So if it is a prime number, that means the number which is entered by the user, we have to check whether it is a prime number or not. So children, I suppose by now all of you know what is a prime number, how to find the prime number. So for prime numbers, you have to calculate the number of factors. Each prime number has only two factors, one and that number itself, right? Say, if I take the example of 13, only we have two factors of 13, that is 1 and 13. Apart from prime numbers, all other numbers have more than two factors, right? One and itself, every number has these factors. But only prime numbers have these two factors and rest all composite numbers have more than two factors, right? So first what we have to check, we have to check whether it is a prime number or not and that how we will check, we will calculate the number of factors and if it is coming to, that means it is a prime number. So now when it is a prime number, we will find the reverse of the number, right? Then you will find the reverse of the number. So if it is 13, you will find reverse is 31. And then again you will check whether this reverse is also a prime number or not. Right? So here we have three steps involved. First to check the number of factors for checking whether it is a prime number or not. If it is a prime number, then you find the reverse of the number. And then you find the factors of the reverse number. If it is also a prime, then that number is said to be twisted prime number. Right children? Now we will start the programming statements for this. Children, few statements I have already written here. First is import statement to include scanner class in our program. Because we want to use this scanner class function next int to input the number. Right? Then we have taken class, then main function. Then you have created the object of the class scanner sc. And after that, we have prompted the user enter the number and we have entered the number in n variable int n equals to sc dot next int. Now, what is the first step? We have to check whether the number entered by the user is the prime number or not. And for that, we have to calculate the number of factors of that number, right? So, children, number of factors cannot be more than that number. So, the lowest limit of any factor of a number is 1 and the highest limit is that number itself, right? So, we have taken the loop int i equals to 1, i less than equals to n, i plus plus. 1 se loop chalega or us number tak jayega, right? And then how you will check the factors for this? Suppose I want to calculate the factors of 6. So, we 6 ko 1 se divide karenge or agar remainder 0 aata hai, iska matlab ho 1 factor hai, right? 6 ko hum 2 se divide karenge, remainder 0 aata hai, that means 2 is also factors. 
सिक्स को थ्री से डिवाइड करेंगे रिमाइंडर जीरो है थ्री इज फैक्टर सिक्स को फोर से डिवाइड करेंगे रिमाइंडर इज नॉट जीरो सो इट इज नॉट अ फैक्टर राइट सो सिक्स मॉडल फाइव ऑल्सो इज नॉट जीरो सो फाइव इज ऑल्सो नॉट अ फैक्टर एंड सिक्स मॉडल सिक्स इज जीरो सो सिक्स इज अ फैक्टर सो सिक्स के फैक्टर्स हमको क्या क्या मिले वन टू थ्री एंड सिक्स राइट चंद्र सो हम फैक्टर्स के लिए वन से स्टार्ट करेंगे और उस नंबर तक जाएंगे और जहां पर हमको रिमाइंडर जीरो मिल रहा है वो नंबर वो डिनोमिनेटर हमारा फैक्टर होगा न्यूमरेटर का राइट द सेम लॉजिक आई हैव यूज हेयर वन से लेकर एन तक और उस नंबर को हर बार हम लुपिंग वेरिएबल से डिवाइड कर रहे हैं रिमाइंडर निकाल रहे हैं राइट एन मॉडल वन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एन मॉडल टू एन मॉडल थ्री एन मॉडल फोर लाइक दैट राइट और जितनी बार ये कंडीशन ट्रू हो रही है दैट मीन्स जितनी बार हमको रिमाइंडर में वैल्यू जीरो मिल रही है तो उसका क्या मतलब होता है कि डिनोमिनेटर इज द फैक्टर सो हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वी आर गेटिंग दिस उसके उतने फैक्टर्स होंगे सो वी आर टेकिंग दिस सी प्लस प्लस वेन एवर दिस कंडीशन इज फाउंड टू बी ट्रू we are incrementing the value of c by 1 initially what we have taken c as 0 so first time suppose the number is 6 6 modulus 1 is 0 c plus plus it will become 1 then 6 modulus 2 is 0 c will become 2 6 modulus 3 is 0 it will become 3 so after completion of this loop we will get how many factors that number has Now, if the value of c is two, that means it is a prime number. अब हमको क्या करना है इसका reverse find करेंगे और उस reverse को check करेंगे कि ये prime है कि नहीं by calculating its numbers of factors, right? So इसके लिए reverse find करने के लिए all of you what you will do? I suppose all of you know i n t i equals to n i greater than zero i equals to i slash ten. Right. Then r equals to i modulus ten and reverse equals to reverse into ten plus r. I'll just explain you this thing we have used in many programs in reverse of the number palindrome of the number. Right. Now if i equals to n, let me take the example if. The value of n is thirteen. I equals to thirteen in the beginning. R equals to i modulus ten. R will be thirteen modulus ten. It will give you three. The last digit it will give you, right? Then after that we will take r e v. This is for reverse number. I have taken it initialized it by zero in the beginning. Reverse into ten. In the beginning it was zero, so it is zero into ten. प्लस थ्री सो क्या होगा यहाँ पे जीरो प्लस थ्री इट विल बी थ्री नेक्स्ट टाइम आई इक्वल्स टू आई स्लैश टेन वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ आई नाउ थर्टीन स्लैश टेन थर्टीन स्लैश टेन हमको क्या देगा उसका क्वेश्चन पार्ट राइट स्लैश साइन गिव्स यू द क्वेश्चन मॉडल साइन गिव्स यू द रिमाइंडर सो नाउ यू विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एज वन One is greater than zero. Yes, condition is true. R equals to one modulus ten. One modulus ten. One को हम अगर ten से divide करेंगे, you will get the remainder as one. Now reverse is equals to reverse into ten. What was the value of reverse into ten plus one? So it will be thirty plus one is equals to thirty one. So we have got the reverse of thirteen as thirty one. So we multiply by ten. हम क्यों करते हैं हर बार? So that हमारी unit place पे zero आ जाए और उसमें एक-एक digit add करते जाएंगे. So that unit place पे वो number add होता जाएगा, right? So this is the logic for finding the reverse. Now हमने reverse भी find कर लिया. Again, what we have to do? We have to calculate the number of factors of this reverse variable. So for finding the factors, we will again use this thing, and for that we will use the loop for i n t i equals to one i less than equals to reverse. हमको किस variable का factors calculate करने हैं? 
REV variable. Okay, so less than equals to REV I plus plus. And here you will say if REV modulus I is equals to zero C one plus plus. C when I have taken zero in the beginning. So in C we have the number of factors for the number entered by the user. And in C1 we have the number of factors for the reverse of that number, right? After this you will check if C1 is equals to 2. C1 2 कब होगा? जब आपका C2 है, यानि कि जब आपका number prime है और उसका reverse number भी prime है, तो ये C1 की value 2 होगी, right? So आप यहाँ पे print कर दोगे system dot out dot print ln n is a twisted prime number twisted prime number right else अगर ये नहीं है so we will print system dot out dot print ln n is not a twisted prime number right now here we will close this if so, when we have executed this block, when the value of C is 2. So, if C equals to 2, this is executed else. Now, if C ki value 2 nahi hai. So, without checking this, we will print else. You will print system dot out dot print ln. Not the twisted prime number. And then you close main and then you close class. Children, very fast, I'll just summarize it again. Number input karayenge, uske factors calculate karayenge. Agar factors 2 hai, that means it is a prime number, to iska reverse find karoge, aur us reverse ke factors calculate karoge. Agar uske factors 2 hai, to print karoge, it is a twisted prime number, else you will print it is not a twisted prime number. Aur agar ye condition true nahi hai, so directly hum yaha pe else block mein aa jayenge aur print karenge this is not the twisted prime number right children i hope this program is clear to all of you for today this much only and if you haven't subscribed the channel till now please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you you may join us on our telegram channel also the link is there in the description box keep practicing keep doing number programs god bless you children